Good morning and thanks for joining us on the Monday edition of TVC Breakfast. Let's uh, get into the business of the day. Now, there's been an increasing attacks on schools by armed bandits, uh, especially in the north. And uh, these attacks are leading to a vacuum in education with the number of... Richard, thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Good morning, Veronica. Now, I wonder what came to mind uh, when you heard that uh, states are now adopting new and unusual methods uh, to addressing these issues mm -hmm. of insecurity, especially uh, in, among, in schools, rather. We're seeing that uh, some of them are adopting the use of uh, local vigilantes who they are mm -hmm. arming with bow, arrows, and machetes, and the likes, uh, since mm -hmm. uh, they can't bear arms. And we're also see that uh, they are also engaging the use of dogs. Uh, uh, first of all, again, good morning. Um, without missing words, it's just unfortunate that um, protecting schools in the northern part of Nigeria, as we speak, is going to be a major issue. Major issue because of the fact that um, um, the schools are built inside the, uh, some local government where the district from school to, to the police. Let's say it's after Boko. And I still remember that our school was in the, in the middle of nowhere. No, as a young say, a genius and then. And if anything happened in my school, the name of the school was uh, G City. High school for those who are from Benue State. I'm very sure they know uh, that uh, school. So what I'm trying to say here is that the the nearness of the school to the police station is very very far for even from you know, from the people. We know the expanse of land in most of the, those parts of the northern state of Nigeria. So what I'm saying is that if, for example, I recommend let's use uh, electronic security alarm system. This is a situation where you, know, you can install most of this equipment, maybe from 30 minutes or last like 30 minutes, maybe like 100 meters away from school. If the school is fenced. You believe that uh, there should be relocation of a lot of uh, these schools out of uh, the areas where they are now. But uh, there is one thing that is also of concern to a lot of persons as well as security smarts like yourself and that has to do with uh, uh, the conversation of uh, speaking where there are incidences because we say that security it, it's uh, the responsibility of everyone it's not just about uh, the security personnel it's that issues of communication oh, yeah. when there are incidents and the aspect of the trust deficit between the people and security operatives is also a major challenge where those things that yes. you mentioned are put in place and the people raise an alarm mm -hmm. that time frame encouraging them to uh, you know have a conversation uh, report these cases how do we also address that talking about the issue of trust deficit Ch where they can trust the security personnel to address Ch these issues head on Vera, that's a very good question. That comes to the issue of police overwhelmed. I'm this guy to their tits to see how they can protect the school. But again, you're not going to make school environment overwhelmed. You're not going to overwhelm it with security personnel because these children have to go and learn. So, whether we like it or not, the, measure, the, 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 the situation we find out now is have a desperate measure. Hmm. And desperate major, you have to think through it. So, for me to advise the government in the northern state of Nigeria, why don't we talk about northern state of Nigeria? It looks like it cannot happen in other parts of Nigeria. Let's look at it like that. Any part of Nigeria, listen to me right now, and there is school in your community or in your environment, we need to start thinking and planning. How, in what way can we, at this point, protect our school? Because, like I always say, the police are overwhelmed. So, so, so then you and are the expert security. here, Richard. So talk to us. What would be adequate enough to ensure safety of schools at this point? I mean, what are we, what, what are we, if I'm in charge, what I'm going to deploy is technology. Or just for you to back 
so that people will know that uh, intruders are around. If the dog bark, how are they going to protect the students when they see the threats of those bandits or those terrorists around? That's my question. So what I'm going to recommend as a security consultant right now, until things are done properly, until more police are recruited and trained, we need to reduce some of these schools from all those isolated areas for now and get um, vigilante, private security organization, and some of the police to tell us. That is my take here. All right, uh, Richard Amoa, security consultant, thank you so much for your time on the program.